A mark. B mark. A first time filmmaker with no prior experience, no formal training and no funds, but plenty of passion set out to create a feature film, Freedom's Path. I ain't been no slave since I ran out that plantation. These woods, my world. And I'm God, Ned Harry. After 12 years of work, Brett Smith's grassroots project will open on the big screen nationwide. I need your help. AMC and Regal Theaters have chosen to present it for Black History Month. There ain't no rules in war. Freedom's Path, a story of friendship and courage, portrays a timeless message. Set in the South during the Civil War, the film stars a black man who was part of the Underground Railroad. He risks his life to rescue an injured white soldier, and the two form a deep bond. The truth is just waiting to be found. Well, Brett, thank you so much for joining us. Absolutely. So happy to be here. What inspired you to create Freedom's Path? Yeah, so in, with growing up, it was always the black characters in need of help and rescue. And I wanted to flip that narrative. I love this idea of two characters worlds apart growing to have to become friends and overcoming preconceived notions about each other. It's a story of humanity. And so I hope people can walk away from it with a renewed love for their fellow brother and sister. What were some of the challenges in creating the film? I couldn't stress how hard it was. I didn't go to a film school, didn't have access to some big trust fund. What I ended up doing is sending out over 4,300 emails blindly. And I spent about two and a half years doing that, roughly 10 hours a day. We ended up getting 10 individuals over the two and a half year period of time that believed in the project. That was a very tough journey, getting that many no's. We want to shoot the film in autumn. Typically in Arkansas, it's 67 to 72 degrees. About a week into the shoot, we had a tornado come through. We had probably two weeks worth of below freezing temperatures. That was rough and just mud. I mean, quicksand mud, torrential rain. We had snow, we had frost. It was crazy. What gave you the fortitude to keep pushing on even when the challenges seemed daunting. Everyone kind of just powered through and really believed in the project and gave it gave it everything they had. I understand that Freedom's Path is the last film two acclaimed actors made. Tony nominated Thomas Jefferson Bird was tragically shot several times. How does this film honor his memory? Thomas Jefferson Bird plays the adoptive father figure of Kitsch, our lead, our lead character. It adds a different weight when you lose one of your own on, on the film like this, especially someone of stature like Thomas. Understanding and knowing that as good of an actor he was and prolific as he was, he was an even, an even greater human being. Born in the Bethlehem. Carol Sutton, another Freedom's Path actor, died due to COVID complications. What are your favorite memories of her? So when you say Carol Sutton, I can't help but smile. Carol plays the role of Caddy, who is the adoptive mother figure of Kitsch. She's been in The Help. She's been in Ray. She's been in Steel Magnolias. She's the most humble, unassuming person. She loved and respected everyone she was working with, and, and uh, it just says so much about her. Shall I send thee? I'm going to send thee two by two. Freedom's Path will open on February 3rd. Part of each ticket sale will go to underfunded historically black colleges and universities focusing on the arts and media. For more information, visit freedomspathfilm.com.